In this video, you will learn how to print white with your wall printer. The wall printer doesn't automatically print white. And the reason for this is sometimes you want to manipulate an image to tell the printer to lay white first behind the image that you're printing. That way, if you're printing on a dark colored surface like black or navy blue, or really any color surface, even like a beige, that wall color, that paint color isn't gonna influence your wall print. So this is a nice vector image that I chose. The reason I like this image is because you don't have the rectangular harsh borders. Go ahead and open Photoshop. As I said, we're gonna use this vector image. Vector images are the ideal format because no matter how large you expand the image, there's no loss in quality. Most likely, the majority of the images you'll be printing will not be vector images, but keep in mind, if you do have a vector image, you can expand it as large as you would like. On the USB drive we gave you and in the Dropbox USB folder, there's a variety of vector images that we've provided you with. Drag and drop. The file will then import into Photoshop. Some images like this one may be locked, so it's important that you tap this lock icon so that you can then unlock and manipulate the file. The lock icon will disappear once you have unlocked it. Locate your magic wand tool. Right click on the object selection tool as shown and then tap magic wand tool. Make sure the new selection icon is selected, which is the first of these four icons. Sample size should be point sample. We're going to change our tolerance to 10. Check anti-alias and sample all layers. Then select any part of the white surrounding space. This will select the entire white space. Right click and tap select inverse. You'll see that the moving dash line is not around your rectangular borders. Now it is around your image. Tap channels, then tap these four horizontal lines. Select new spot channel. You'll see the colors of your image change in the area we selected. The color change indicates where we've added a layer. The color you choose does not matter. Although I prefer to choose a color that will easily show I've added a layer to all correct locations. You will want your layer to be at all locations you would like white or white to be printed behind the image. You must type capital W1 as the name. This is important as the printer will see this W1 layer and know to lay white. Solidity should be zero. Tap file, save as, save on your computer's desktop to easily find the image. Name the file. There's multiple format options, but we recommend saving as a TIFF file. Be sure that spot colors, layers, and embedded color profile are checked. Tap save. Image compression, none. Don't select save transparency. Pixel order, select interleaved. For bit order, IBM PC and layer compression RLE. A pop-up will occur saying including layers will increase file size. Tap OK. Your new image may look odd and see-through like this, but don't worry, it is ready to be converted to a PRN and wall printed. If you have a square or rectangular image and you would like to lay white behind the entire image, then you will need to use a different selection tool. As you can see, when you use the magic wand, you don't get the desired selection. Instead, tap the quick selection tool. Adjust your brush size to efficiently select your entire image. You will see the moving dash line along the rectangular borders. Remember, tap the lock icon if your image is locked. Continue with the rest of the process in the same way as originally shown. Save your file. Lastly, some images will require a mix between the magic wand and quick selection tools. For example, this baby lion image. Unlock, magic wand tool, confirm parameters, select white space, right click, select inverse. The outline appears correct, although if you look within the image, you can see there are selections on the whiskers. If you left this image as is, this would be the result. The red spot channel layer is located on the desired location except the whiskers. You can see there is no red layer on the whiskers. If you printed this image as is, those whiskers would not be white. 
Instead, they would be the color of your wall. The wall printer will only print white where a spot channel layer has been added. Let's start over. Select the white space with your magic wand tool. Select inverse. Then, tap the quick selection tool. Make sure the size of your brush is small so that it doesn't impact the outer dash line and simply click using your mouse to remove the selection in this location. Continue with the rest of the process in the same way as originally shown. You will see that the whiskers are now red, indicating that a layer is located here. Save your file. In conclusion, you should see the layer color located at all parts of the image where you would like white printed or white behind the image. Great job guys! Now go practice on a dark background. Happy wall printing!